So at a high level, the shipping calendar is a complete overview of all of your shipping loads within Tech 3 EPM. So we no longer have to look at our shipping job by job. Uh, we've got one screen where we can see every load to every destination um, and regardless of its status. We've implemented a really familiar um, calendar interface. So those who are familiar with um, Outlook or Google calendars, uh, it should be a really easy tool to pick up and start using straight away. By seeing the bigger picture, we can plan more efficiently and more effectively. So because we can see multiple um, or deliveries for multiple jobs, we can see where loads could be combined perhaps to the galvanizer and again, um, use fewer vehicles and, and save, um, save on transportation costs. In a similar fashion, we can identify problems in advance uh, and, and prevent them from happening. So maybe we've allocated um, the same trailer to be used um, by two different loads on the same day or maybe we we need to call in third party carriers to um to assist with our our haulage and we can identify that in advance and in turn save any costly issues that may arise and where issues may arise we can drill down into the information to be able to put in preventative action so if a load is due to out tomorrow and it's still only partially partially loaded and we can find out where the missing parts are and um, and expedite them accordingly and because all of this is available inside EPM Go, which is our web application, um, it can be shared across the entire team from the project managers to your production manager. Um, and it can be shared no matter where people are. They don't have to be in the office to be able to access this information. Before I get into a demo, I just want to run through a few points that I, I'd like to cover. Um, if in the first part, I'll go through how we can navigate the calendar interface um, and use a few of the customization options um, to get it to look how you'd like it to. We're going to show you how we can create, schedule and reschedule loads uh, with some of our nice drag and drop tools. And when we come to shipping a particular load, we can print the bill of lading and, and mark um, the load as being shipped so we can update the status from the calendar itself. So from the EPM Go screen, I can click on the menu button and select my dashboards. And within here, you will see amongst some other dashboards, which we've discussed in previous webinars, there is a new calendar option under the shipping area. And as you would expect, we've got a nice calendar view here that's showing the status of every load um, a that has been planned across all my jobs. Um, and you can see the color coding up at the top. The green ones have been shipped. The red uh, are overdue or late. The orange are in progress and the, the blue are scheduled. So a little bit more about the, the controls on here. So up at the top right, we've got our basic settings for the likes of unit of measure um, and the, the first day of the week or um, the, the start of, of the week for your calendar view, depending on your personal preferences and, and regional settings. We've got the option to filter the calendar. So you may just want to look uh, for loads for certain for a certain job or, or jobs, or maybe for a certain destination. Uh, maybe all get loads going to a galvanizer or a particular job site you'd like to, to see. I won't set any, any just yet. The next icon is the color by. So at the moment I'm colored by status, but I could also color by trailer, carrier, destination, job. Um, and this option down here allows me to turn this legend on, which allows me to see what each of those colors represents. Now we have got filtering via the, uh, the status as well. So if I, I turn all of those off, I can turn on for argument's sake, just the loads which are overdue or maybe the loads of that are in progress and I can um, build up the screen with those um, those color by legends as well. We've also got um, different views so we've got day, week, month and year and depending on which, which view you're in you can then toggle between different 
weeks if we're in week view, different months if we're in month view, so on and so forth. Uh, we see that week and month will probably be the most practical on a, on a day to day usage. So let's talk a little bit about how we can um, add loads onto the, the planner or, or the calendar, and there's multiple ways of doing this. There's a new load button up at the top right of the calendar and what this will allow you to do is to build a new load directly from within the calendar itself. So whereas you'd previously have to go back into the, the main system to do this, you can now do it directly from the calendar. And by using this plan date field here, uh, you can in turn schedule it on the, on the, um, the shipping calendar. Because most people won't be using that, I'm just going to go back into um, EPM itself and I'm going to very quickly create a new load um, for that job 2101. I don't think there are any loads for this, so I'm just going to quickly create a new one from the shop to the site. We'll call it load 101. Um, we shall pick a trailer. And using this planned ship date down here, I can choose. So let's say we will schedule it for this Friday. I can save that. I'll add some materials to it. Um, just allocate them at this stage. I won't physically mark them as loaded and add the material there. Now, if I come back to the calendar, I might just have to hit F5 to refresh. It does refresh periodically. Um, but just to kind of catch those straight away, you can now see on Friday, the 3rd of September, I have load 101 for um, job J2101. Now, if you were not using that pl planned um, ship date, which a lot of you may not be, it's a relatively new feature, so you, you may not have been using it up until now, um, that's okay, because what you will effectively have, if I just unschedule this, is any loads that you create inside EPM without a planned ship date. You see that that data has now been cleared. Is those such loads will appear on the um, add load panel at the side. And this panel is showing me all the loads which have been created inside the system that have not yet been shipped and don't have a, a planned ship date. So there down at the bottom, you can see load 101 for that particular job I've just created. And you can add that to the schedule in, in several ways. You click on the three dots and choose the schedule option and just select a date. Or alternatively, you can turn on the drag and drop tool um, using the, the icon there, which are the six little blocks and using the drag and drop feature to add that onto a particular day. I'll put it on for tomorrow. And in turn, if I go back into EPM itself, you'll see that the planned ship date has been updated to the 2nd of September to reflect that. So within the calendar, we can also mark loads as being shipped. Um, so if I was to click on the three dots there, you can see that the progress bar here is at 100% and that's reflecting that all the assemblies which are assigned to this particular load have been marked as loaded um, via EPM or the, the tools within inside EPM Go. So once that's at 100%, I can only mark this as being shipped, okay, which in turn is going to update the status to be green. I'm also able to print the delivery note or the bill of lading. So I'll just run the delivery copy with weights there, which saves you having to go into the main system to print that delivery note or bill of lading. And if your um, delivery driver is also using EPM Go, what they are able to do, if they come into the load details screen, they're able to click on this little icon here next to the delivery address and map exactly where that location is on Google Maps, which means they are able to get up-to-date traffic information and, and directions to get there as quickly and effectively as, as possible. And before we go any further, I'm just going to jump back into the slides so we can have a quick recap and, and then come back into to a bit more of a presentation.
So we've just seen there how we can navigate the calendar view and we can use some of the tools to customize how it looks and feels. Uh, we've seen how we can add a load directly with inside the calendar itself, but for those cr loads created in the more traditional fashion in EPM can be scheduled and rescheduled with the simple drag and drop tools. And once a load is ready to be shipped, we can mark it as such directly in the calendar and we can generate the, the bill of lading and even pull um, directions as, as well to the, um, the delivery site.